It's beginning to look a lot like the weekend. Lines go all the way outside. It's also the fourth day of the GoPro series vlogs. And I'm gonna go see if this guy has work for me. So I actually made a post on Facebook reaching out to the locals in the area. Oh. And I said that, you know, I'm traveling and I need a little bit of work. And so I actually had a couple people reach out offering to pay me to do some yard work. And this is one of the first ones that reached out. So today we are going to be raking some leaves, doing some yard work and uh, making a little side cash. Good for repair money. Plus I kind of need a work jacket. This it's kind of tight with my underlying coat, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it'll, it'll all work out. Well, that was fun. Um, started around, I think it was 9 o'clock or so, 9.30. Started working sometime around 10. And pretty much worked the whole day. It is, um, it is about 4 o'clock now. I say it took about the whole day, but um, for me, whole days are up until about 5 o'clock. Because the sun starts going down at around 5.30 and you know camping and stuff i don't have the advantage of just always having access to light so i tried to find a place to camp and stuff before dark but i haven't got to upload my video today because i didn't get to finish making it yesterday with the weather and so the i'm technically able to upload it at the campsite the reception is okay but it takes about three hours and so it's just Better to try to do it at the coffee shop because the reception there is much better. It takes like 10 to 15 minutes at the coffee shop versus three hours. I still have time. Coffee shop closes at five. So if I hurry, I can make it there and get a coffee. Probably have the video finished before it gets dark. I would love to take a shower, but I don't know where showers are here or how much they cost. But I do have some cash now, so I need to go put gas in the Jeep and probably try to find a shower. If not, we're just going to rough it out. Go to the campsite, cook some dinner, and go from there. Okay, go. It's starting to get dark out, and uh, I haven't finished editing the video. Well, I'm exporting it now, and I'm gonna try to upload it today. But uh, it's getting cold outside. It's supposed to be like, raining here in the next couple hours so it's it's not gonna be a fun night but oh well see how it goes i called the i found a place that has showers for five dollars and i called ahead but they close at five o'clock so i won't be able to shower today i'm gonna try to get one in in the morning and i don't know if i'm gonna actually be able to work tomorrow because i think it's supposed to rain all day but the lady who was the lady who allowed me to work said she might actually have more work for me so that would be super nice. They actually fed me and gave me coffee, which was awesome. And uh, just seemed like really nice people. And of course they let me work and paid me good for that. So that was super awesome. But uh, I think I'm gonna end this video. It was kind of a short video, but that was basically my day. 
I guess that's probably the best way actually to make money if you're doing van life or if you're thinking about doing van life. I've heard a lot of people say that you should prepare and stuff, save up money and all that stuff. And I think that's great if you can, but at the end of the day, you're a lot better off just winging it. And I know it's not a very popular opinion apparently since I've had a lot of people telling me that I should have saved longer and all this stuff. But with my experience of trying to save, you're just never gonna be prepared. It's almost like trying to tell someone that they need to have saved up all their money before they get married or something. It doesn't really matter. You're never gonna have enough money. And so you're better off just doing what you wanna do and figuring out the money part later. And I really don't need that much money. I pretty much just need enough money for food, gas, food for Kai and any repairs I can get into the Jeep and situations like this if something breaks and I do need to find extra money it's not a problem to just reach out to that community find a Facebook group or something in that area ask around find some work and you know just put a little work in a little bit of elbow grease never hurt anyone except for my finger actually my fingers kind of sore right now but aside from that but before I go, I need to say a few thanks to some really cool people who helped me out recently. So April Lynn actually helped support me. She doesn't even follow the YouTube channel. She was actually on the Facebook group that I reached out to and she thought it was really cool what I was doing and so she actually sent me some money. Thank you so much. John Vera, or Vera, John, John something, I hope I pronounced one of those right. He also helped support me through GoFundMe. Thank you so much, dude, it really means a lot. If you would also love to support this journey, I have links below for my Patreon as well as my GoFundMe. Anything you can do helps, honestly, and if you can't help support me, just continue watching my channel, it really means a lot to me. Thank you so much to everybody who's been helping support me. You guys are really making this journey possible and that it will be all for today. I'm going to go find a place to camp, hopefully cook up some dinner and Hopefully it won't be raining by that time. Hopefully. Kai wants to say bye too. Say bye. Say bye to the camera, Kai. Hey, say bye. Say bye, Kai. Kai, say bye to the camera. Say bye. Hey, hey, these people are feeding you. They're literally giving me money to feed you. And you have no respect, no respect. Who raised you? We